working. Hold on. Yeah, it should be working now. I'm losing losing my voice. Anyway, so it's, you know, we're focusing on uh, EEG, ECG, any biomedical data, mainly time series, not only the two time series today. So pressing uh, EEG that uh, we're currently working on both uh, fuzzy logic um, detection and neural network possibly prediction as well of uh, EEG signals, features in EEG signals. However, we are also interested in the link between biomedical signals and chaos theory. So there's a bunch of papers being published in the past. Uh, I won't open them just in case it's uh, copyrighted material or something. And GPT-4 is still up and running. I'm sure if there's any ongoing court cases or whatever, but uh, we'll be just uh, using it to summarize stuff for us. Uh, so there is a this couple of um, chaos theory paradigms that can be useful in processing EEG data, especially one that has uh, seizures in it. Uh, now we have some examples. Yeah, we particularly yeah we all are interested in the uh, ECG as well, but um, we actually have more experience with EEG data, especially in epilepsy. So it's just just some generic examples. Uh, predicting is just a uh, uh, we particular more specifically we're interested in predicting seizures in EEG data. So we can use chaos theory applications for it. Um, so during seizures, there are normally some chaotic dynamics being uh, present. So we can potentially detect the subtle changes in EG. Uh, potentially even before seizure actually started. So in addition to detection, we could potentially do prediction as well. So we, one thing is uh, looking at, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it properly. Lyabanov. Right, I don't know. Lyabanov. So Lyabanov exponents or fractal dimensions we'll copy this for a sec which uh, might indicate a shift towards the uh, seizure state we could also so uh, currently so we no, we do have a data set with seizures in it but uh, we would like to simulate a EG with uh, seizures so we could actually Use it for synthetic seizure generation. And we have this one specific example. So yeah, this paper is actually legit where they use Shelnikov chaos. Shelnikov chaos to try and detect the a petite mal absence absence uh, seizures. We're generating a bunch of our prompts and uh, it's actually suggesting us some code. So there are a couple of things.
Okay, I would like to split the JavaScript and the HTML into separate files. Can do them in separate responses. Uh, can we make sure we include chaos theory elements like anything you suggested before? Example. Yep, this too. All right, let's start with the HTML part. The HTML file will contain the basic structure for the user interface, including a canvas element for visualization and buttons for interaction. Here's how the HTML file, index, HTML, could look. In the next response, I'll provide a JavaScript template that includes elements of chaos theory, like calculating Lyapunov exponents or fractal dimensions, for generating and visualizing synthetic EEG data. Now, let's create the JavaScript file, script, JS, that will handle the generation of synthetic EEG data and its visualization. This script will include elements of chaos theory, like calculating Lyapunov exponents or fractal dimensions, to simulate the EEG data during normal and seizure states. This script provides a basic structure and demonstrates how you could integrate more complex chaos theory calculations into the simulate EEG point function. You can further expand and refine the code using GitHub Copilot, tendering it to simulate realistic EEG data with seizure-like characteristics. Realized the stream on LinkedIn didn't actually connect properly. I think there's something you have to do to start it. I don't know why. It won't start automatically. Okay, give me a second. I don't remember what the link. I don't remember what the link was. I was able to do it uh, a couple of days ago. Yeah, good luck.
Anyway, that doesn't work. So we only live on uh, YouTube and uh, Twitch. Okay, clear. Okay, let's see. Created HTML. It's script JS, chart JS. Uh, don't actually need a button, do we? Event listener for button click. Okay, let's keep the button. Okay, let's do the HTML. So we'll have a tool called the uh, uh, what should this be called? Call it the uh, yeah, just call it chaos. For well, now, we have main HTML. This code in it. Then we have a script JS. of course will not work because we have a couple of things missing stop it in live server there yeah, okay that's working So the HTML working, which is good. We would love to keep things executable. Uh, however, it's only generating a sinusoid. Sinusoid. Can we keep developing the code? Yep. To enhance the JavaScript code for generating more realistic synthetic EEG data with simulated seizures, we can modify the simulate EEG point function. This function should generate data that fluctuates in a way that is representative of both normal brain activity and seizure-like activity. Seizure states are often characterized by increased amplitude and frequency changes in the EEG signal. Here's an improved version of the simulate EEG point function. In this updated function, we introduce random fluctuations to simulate the onset of seizures. The seizure variable determines whether a given point is part of a seizure, affecting the signal's amplitude and frequency. This approach creates a more varied and realistic simulation of EEG data, with periods of normal activity interspersed with higher amplitude, higher frequency seizure-like activity. This code can be further refined to align more closely with actual EEG data characteristics and the specific requirements of your project. A GitHub Copilot doesn't want to do it. Yeah, it's not great, is it? Normalize amplitude, seizure amplitude, normal frequency, seizure frequency. 
si j'ai un peu de chaud. Ok, donc c'est that's very simple. So this will be similarly G point. Uh, ok. In this updated function, we introduce random fluctuations to simulate the onset of seizures. The seizure variable determines whether a given point is part of a seizure, affecting the signal's amplitude and frequency. This approach creates a more varied and realistic simulation of EEG data, with periods of normal activity interspersed with higher amplitude, higher frequency seizure-like activity. This code can be further refined to align more closely with actual EEG data characteristics and the specific requirements of your project. Okay, there are a couple of things. First of all, the baseline EEG should not just be a sinusoid. Uh, how about using one over F? For generating baseline EEG. For the generation of seizures, use one of the chaos theory elements earlier discussed. Yep. For a more realistic simulation of EEG data, we can use 1F noise, also known as pink noise, for the baseline EEG and incorporate elements of chaos theory for the seizure generation. Here's how you can modify the simulate EEG point function. Baseline EEG with 1, F noise, M. Implement a function to generate 1, F noise. This type of noise has a frequency spectrum that falls off at 1, F, making it a common model for many natural signals, including EEG. Seizure generation using chaos theory. For the seizure state, you can use a chaotic map, such as the logistic map. The logistic map exhibits chaotic behavior for certain parameter values and can simulate the irregular, complex activity observed during seizures. Here's a revised version of the simulate EEG point function incorporating these ideas. In this version, generate 1 over F noise is a placeholder for the actual implementation of 1 F noise generation. The simulate seizure function uses the logistic map to create a chaotic pattern resembling seizure activity. This approach provides a more nuanced and biologically plausible simulation of EEG data. Why is it giving me a link to Wikipedia or something? It's meant to be
a pink noise. Yeah, this should be fairly simple. Generating one F noise or pink noise in JavaScript requires implementing an algorithm that creates a signal with a power spectral density inversely proportional to the frequency of the signal. Here's a basic approach to get you started. This function generates an array of pink noise values. The length parameter determines the number of samples in the noise signal. The amplitude of each frequency component decreases with frequency in line with the one F characteristic. This code is a basic representation and might need refinement for more accurate EEG simulation. For more sophisticated and accurate implementations, you might need to delve into digital signal processing techniques and potentially use libraries that can handle complex Fourier transforms and filtering. It looks I don't like the button. Fix that. This function generates an array of pink noise values. The length parameter determines the number of samples in the noise signal. The amplitude of each frequency component decreases with frequency, in line with the one F characteristic. This code is a basic representation and might need refinement for more accurate EEG simulation. Taking something Uh, let's see if GPT-4 Your JavaScript code for generating synthetic EEG data with simulated seizures looks good. 
the generate synthetic EEG function creates an array of EEG data points over a 60 second period. The simulate EEG point function decides at each time step whether to simulate normal brain activity using generate 1 over F noise or a seizure state using simulate seizure. A few points to consider. Noise generation, the generate 1 over F noise function will generate a single noise value at each call. You might want to modify it to generate a continuous noise signal over time, as currently, it generates a random value for each time point without temporal correlation. Seizure simulation, the simulate seizure function uses a logistic map for seizure simulation, which is a good start. You might need to adjust the parameters or the method based on how closely you want to mimic real EEG seizure data. Data integration, ensure that the transition between the normal state and seizure state in your EEG data is smooth to make it more realistic. This might involve blending the two states during the transition period. Visualization, the visualize EEG data function uses chart, JS to plot the data, which should effectively display the generated EEG data. This script provides a strong foundation. You can further refine and adjust it based on your specific requirements and the characteristics of real EEG data you aim to simulate. The error you're encountering is due to the way the generate 1 over F noise function is called within simulate EEG point. The function generate 1 over F noise expects an integer length as its argument, but in simulate EEG point, it's being called with time as the argument, which is not an integer. To fix this, you need to adjust the way generate 1 over F noise is used. Pre-generate the 1, F noise, generate the 1, F noise for the entire duration at the start of the generate synthetic EEG function, and then use the values from this pre-generated array in simulate EEG point. Modify simulate EEG point. Instead of generating a new noise value at each call, fetch the pre-generated noise value corresponding to the current time. Here's a revised approach. In this revised version, the generate 1 over F noise function is called once with the total length of the EEG data, and its output is used throughout the generation of the EEG data points. This approach should resolve the error and provide a more consistent baseline noise profile. The error you're encountering indicates that the canvas element identified by EEG chart is being reused without properly destroying the existing chart instance. In chart, JS, if you're updating the chart with new data, you need to either update the existing chart instance or destroy it before creating a new one. To fix this, you can modify the visualize EEG data function to check if a chart instance already exists and update it, or destroy it before creating a new one. Here's a revised approach. In this code, EEG chart is declared as a global variable. Before creating a new chart, the code checks if EEG chart exists and destroys it if it does. This approach prevents the error you're encountering and ensures that the canvas is properly reused for each new dataset. We we'll also make sure that the chart is being generated when loading the page the first time. Yep. To ensure that the chart is generated when loading the page for the first time, you can call the generate synthetic EEG and visualize EEG data functions as part of the page's initial loading process. You can do this by invoking these functions after defining them outside any event listener. Here's how you can modify your script to include this. This modification uses the window onload function to ensure that the EEG data is generated and visualized as soon as the window has finished loading. It effectively initializes the chart with synthetic EEG data the first time the page is opened. Noise generation, the generate 1 over F noise function will generate a single noise value at each call. You might want to modify it to generate a continuous noise signal over time, as currently, it generates a random value for each time point without temporal correlation.
Seizure simulation. The simulate seizure function uses a logistic map for seizure simulation, which is a good start. You might need to adjust the parameters or the method based on how closely you want to mimic real EEG seizure data. We add an option to scroll through the data. We also need to make sure that the data starts with normal baseline EEG and then turns into a seizure. Also make sure the seizure ends within the Also make sure that the seizure ends and turns back into suppressed baseline EEG. Yep. Yep. To add the capability to scroll through EEG data and ensure the data starts with a normal baseline, transitions to a seizure, and then returns to a suppressed baseline, you need to modify the data generation and visualization logic. Starting with normal baseline, ensure the initial segment of your EEG data represents normal brain activity. You might want to start with a longer segment of 1, F noise to establish this baseline. Transitioning to seizure, after the baseline, introduce a seizure phase using your chaotic model. Ensure this transition is gradual to mimic real EEG patterns. Returning to suppress baseline, following the seizure, transition back to a baseline state, possibly with a different characteristic, like a suppressed state, to indicate post-seizure changes. Scrolling through data, implement a scrolling mechanism in the chart. This could be a horizontal scroll bar or buttons to shift the view. Chart. JS doesn't natively support scrolling, so you might need to use a wrapper or an additional library, or manually update the chart's data window. Here's a simplified concept of how you can structure your data generation. For the scrolling functionality, consider using a library like Charts Plugin Zoom, which can add zoom and pan features to your chart, JS graphs. You will need to include this plugin and configure it in your chart options. Any problems with this chart? This is what being generated. How can we improve it? Yep. The chart you have generated seems to have very sharp transitions and unnatural patterns which don't typically represent EEG data. To improve it, Smooth transitions, real EEG data has smoother transitions between states. Implement a gradual change between baseline, seizure, and post-seizure states. Natural patterns, EEG signals are more organic and less block-like. Utilize naturalistic signal variations, including a mix of different frequencies and amplitudes. Noise, incorporate a variety of noise levels to simulate the stochastic nature of EEG. Scrolling feature. Add a mechanism to allow users to scroll through the data, which can involve a draggable view window or panning actions. Zooming. Provide zoom functionality to inspect specific sections of the data in detail. You may need to adjust the data generation algorithms to produce more realistic waveforms and consider using advanced signal processing techniques to create a believable EEG simulation. Okay, can we do all that? Also, can we make sure we actually use uh, chaos theory for generating the seizure bit and also make sure that we're using 1 over F, which is also called pink noise for generating the baseline EEG. To 
to improve the chart and adhere to your requirements. Use 1. F noise for baseline EEG. Implement a proper 1. F noise generation algorithm to create a more natural baseline EEG signal. This kind of noise is characteristic of many biological systems, including the brain's electrical activity. Generate seizures with chaos theory. Instead of random spikes, use a chaotic system like the logistic map or the Lorenz system to create seizure-like data. These systems can produce complex, unpredictable dynamics that more closely resemble the patterns seen in actual seizure EEG data. Smooth transitions. Ensure the transition between the baseline and seizure states and back is smooth. This can be done by gradually changing the parameters of the chaotic system or by blending the signals. Interactive scrolling and zooming. Implement interactive features that allow users to scroll and zoom in on the chart. This could involve using a JavaScript library that supports these features, such as Charts Plugin Zoom. Realistic visualization. The chart should reflect the time series nature of EEG data with appropriate scaling on the time axis and more organic variations in the signal's amplitude and frequency. Here's a conceptual outline for the updated functions. To complete these functions, you will need to implement the actual algorithms for generating 1, F noise and chaotic patterns. After implementation, you can use these functions to create a more realistic synthetic EEG dataset. You gave me some generic advice. Can you give me something more specific to the code we generated earlier? Yep. Yep. For the specific code you've worked on, here's how to integrate a 1 F noise generation for the baseline EEG and use a chaotic system for the seizure part. 1. F noise generation. Replace the placeholder generate 1 over F noise function with an actual implementation. One method to generate 1. F noise is using the inverse Fourier transform of white noise that has been filtered to scale as 1. F. Chaos theory for seizures. Modify the simulate seizure function to use a chaotic map such as the Lorenz attractor or the logistic map. The logistic map, for example, can be used as a simple model of a seizure's onset, duration, and termination. Smooth transitions. To achieve smooth transitions between normal and seizure states, interpolate between the last value of the baseline and the first value of the seizure and vice versa. Here is a more detailed approach for each part. Please note that these are high-level pseudocode examples. The actual implementation will require mathematical functions for the FFT, inverse FFT, the logistic map, or another chaotic map, and you'll need to handle the logic for when to start and end the seizure. Additionally, you'll have to manage the transition periods to ensure they're smooth. This will likely involve a ramp function that smoothly interpolates between the normal and seizure states. We would like to modify the following code, so I need some more specific advice. Yep. To refine your EEG simulation, focus on each phase of signal characteristics and transitions. Here's a specific approach. Improve 1, F noise generation. The current generate 1 over F noise function does not produce accurate 1, F noise. Replace it with an algorithm that models pink noise correctly, like using a filter in the frequency domain on white noise and then applying an inverse Fourier transform. Refine seizure simulation. The simulate seizure function now just iterates the logistic map a number of times equal to the time variable. Instead, maintain a state variable for x outside the function to allow the map to evolve over time properly. Additionally, ensure the logistic map is only active during the seizure phase.
Transition smoothness. To smooth out the transitions between phases, gradually blend the signals by computing a weighted average in the overlap region. Visual consistency. To avoid the chart from being destroyed and recreated, update the data of the existing chart instance dynamically if possible. Here is how you can incorporate these adjustments into your script. Remember to handle the initialization of variables and states carefully, especially when transitioning between normal and seizure states. The chaotic behavior should be continuous, not reinitialized at each step. Consider researching pink noise generation algorithms and how to correctly implement chaotic maps for accurate simulation. Not to try this in the chat. So I have 123 lines of code. To implement the transition smoothness, you can introduce an overlap between the phases. Find an overlap length. Clear. So in generate synthetic EG. Is now a constant, constant generate baseline. Each data. Any placeholders there? Just try the whole thing, generate this G synthetic. The linter is not showing any problems. Uh, total length should be the input of the function This overlap is only happening over there now. Baseline.
they can select the whole function So we have total length then based by noise, which is push time. Yeah, we don't have this variables they might be and not defined. We fix it for the whole Code no. What's the problem there? All the left length. constant it's a negative it's 53 what Yeah, we're going in circles now. So might as well. So overlap length to round it. Yeah, okay.
United States AG. Get the cheap data based on length, decision length, overlap. Oops, I'll get rid of that. Pop the whole code in quickly. To improve your EEG simulation based on the provided code. 1. F noise generation. Your current 1. F noise function isn't generating true pink noise. Real pink noise generation would typically require filtering white noise in the frequency domain. Seizure simulation. The simulate seizure function currently resets the X value with each call, which can simulate a continuous chaotic system. You should maintain state between calls to simulate seizure to reflect the evolving chaotic system. State transition. The transitions between baseline, seizure, and post-seizure phases are abrupt. Implement gradual transitions by interpolating between the states. Chart initialization. The chart should be initialized on page load without needing a button click, which can be achieved with the window on load function you've included. Here's a refined approach to the simulate seizure function and the initialization of the chart. For a realistic simulation, research and implement an accurate 1, F noise generation algorithm. Make sure the logistic map state, X, evolves over time without resetting randomly. Introduce smooth transitions by having a small number of points where the state between baseline and seizure interpolates. This could be a sigmoid or linear interpolation between the last baseline value and the first seizure value. Finally, consider the actual biological constraints and patterns of EEG data to fine-tune the parameters of your simulation for both the baseline and seizure states. Yeah, we'll continue from this point uh, probably tomorrow.